Well, hi there, everybody. Good morning to meteorologist Travis Klineski here on this Wednesday morning. Big, big changes on the way for the day today. We have a uh, low pressure system that's now up here to our northeast. Wrap around moisture with that strong north and northwest winds on the backside of that system, which will stick with all day long. A lot of cloud cover holding tough, a little bit of clearing out west. And this moisture up here to the north, that's going to be moving southward into our area later today. So a windy, cold, cloudy day out there. Late in the day, more moisture in the form of some light snow up here to the north and northwest. This will push southeastward across the area overnight tonight, bringing around us some very light snow to the area. Slight reduction in the visibility. I don't think the snow will be heavy enough to cause any major travel issues due to visibility restrictions. I don't think it's going to be a big issue out there. The snow lasting through about midnight or so, clearing out by tomorrow morning. Sunshine returning tomorrow with a few lingering clouds early there, but mostly sunny skies for the area on Thursday. Winds still breezy out of the northwest, but nowhere near as strong tomorrow as today's winds. And then tomorrow night, we'll see a few increasing clouds, especially out west. This is with an approaching cold front. That will bring a chance of moisture to our area, mostly Friday afternoon and Friday night in the form of some light rainfall. I'm not real optimistic about it. We'll talk about that here in just a bit. First, let's look at the snowfall potential totals for uh, late this afternoon and into this evening. Most of us a dusting at best. I'm not expecting much snowfall accumulation, but in the northwest corner of the area, maybe up to an inch of snow there. But again, for most of us, this is not going to be a big issue at all. Temperatures for today topping out in the 30s and 40s. I would not be surprised if the Tri-Cities area struggles to 40 here. If these 30s could be a... I wouldn't be surprised if they're a little farther southeast. But again, mid-30s to mid-40s, a very chilly day compared to what we had to deal with yesterday. And that wind is just going to add that extra bite to the air. Lows tonight, probably the coldest this week in the 20s for the most part. Highs tomorrow, some recovery out there. We'll see high temperatures mostly in the 50s, some 40s here to the northeast, upper 40s there, but mostly into the 50s. Maybe can't uh, rule out 60 here to the uh, southwest. We'll shoot for mid-50s in the Tri-Cities. Overnight tomorrow night, not quite as cold, but still chilly. 20s, mid and upper 20s to around 30 degrees. And then Friday, we have that return chance of rain, but we will warm up ahead of that chance just a bit. High temperatures into the low and mid-60s here. There's the cooler weather with the thicker clouds and the moisture, the rain that's going to move eastward. So I wouldn't even be surprised if temperatures drop a little bit in the afternoon, but cooler as you go to the northwest. Well, let's look at the long-range forecast, and then we'll take a couple of, a look at a couple of forecast models looking down the road here. So snow tonight, mainly before midnight, after a windy, blustery, however you want to call it, colder day out there for today. Tomorrow, mostly sunny skies return. It'll be a little bit better, still a little breezy. Friday, a little bit warmer yet for the Tri-Cities, a chance of some afternoon and evening mostly light rain showers and then the weekend shaping up to be pretty nice mid 60s mostly sunny on saturday a few more clouds sunday partly to mostly cloudy skies on sunday breezy winds return and then next week a chance of some rain light rain for monday a little bit better chance tuesday temperature still on the milder side it does look like we may get a little colder uh, just past tuesday with the front making its way through so let's look at some of the forecast models this is well, you know what? I'm going to back this up a little bit here and add Friday, and I'm sorry about that. Uh, so I have to go in and just edit this real quick here. So let's do that. Hopefully this will help things out. i got to click Save and Close. And I'm going to do this with the GFS model. So bear with me real quick here on this one. I apologize. I should have had this ready ahead of time. I thought I had it set to the correct date, but I didn't. Um, so I'm going to change the GFS model real quick as well because that starts it on Saturday, and I want to have it start Friday morning. So this is basically taking this from where we had it on that uh, future cast product here that we had uh, that I showed before. So, all right, here we go. I'm ready to go. We'll start with the European forecast model. This is Friday as that moisture traverses across the area. Notice not much, unfortunately, and this takes us through Friday evening, then moves out to the east. So I think this would be a very light rain event according to the European model. And then most of the weekend dry, but then as we get into Monday, Maybe a chance of rain. I only have a 20% chance right there. Tuesday, a little bit better chance as a cold front approaches later Tuesday into Tuesday night. That front may bring us a better chance of rain, and it's going to bring some colder temperatures by next Wednesday. How about the European port forecast model? This is Friday again. Or sorry, this is the GFS forecast model. This one's a little more optimistic with the rain chances Friday afternoon and Friday evening there. That would be great news if we could get that kind of rain. I'm not being very optimistic in my own mind, though, with this. Usually the European model does a better job. Uh, the weekend looks dry, 
through Sunday, and then Monday, a slight chance of rain, a little bit better chance of rain comes in on Tuesday with that cold front swing, swinging through the area Tuesday and into Tuesday night. So long range, you see it here as we're gonna see after the chilly day today, we start to see milder temperatures returning uh, by the end of the week, the uh, beginning of April, temperatures near or a little bit above average. If you look towards the 6th and 7th of April there, next Wednesday and Thursday, you'll see some cooler temperatures come in behind that frontal boundary here, but not unusually cold. So uh, we'll see how things play out once we get past that chance of rain on Tuesday. Well, I want to thank you all for watching on this uh, Wednesday morning. Hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you all again on Thursday morning. Until then, take care, and God bless. Bye.